Block Streets has taken over Roblox with its One Piece inspired concept and amazing gameplay. But how did it get here? It's 2019 and Gamer Robot just released their new game, Blocks Piece. Before Blocks Piece, the developers were working on a game called Elemental Battlegrounds. The game was an action packed fighting game where you collect diamonds and shards to upgrade your magic. So with the trend of PvP games at the time and the knowledge of developing a fighting game, the developers released Blocks Piece. At that time, the game was an exact copy of the anime, with the fruits and swords having the same name and designs. But the simple concept, cool looking abilities combined with the nature of grinding made the game very addicting from the beginning. Blockspace started strong for the first year, gaining thousands of players at the time. The developers' large fanbase from Elemental Battlegrounds and other projects may have helped boost the game's popularity. Popular YouTubers like IB Main were promoting the game before release, creating hype around the Roblox fighting community. But promotion wasn't the only reason for Blockspace's successful debut. The developers made many efforts to optimize the gaming experience for their players. They updated the game consistently and focused on fixing bugs and balancing the game while adding new content here and there. This made players excited about the new updates and enjoyed the game. It's November of 2019 and Blockspace has released its biggest update yet the second sea update. A new world called the second sea was added and players were able to grind new bosses and NPCs. The developers added a lot of items such as swords and accessories alongside a new fruit called the barrier fruit. They also added the bounty honor reward system to the game which gave players more to grind for. What? Where did Blocks Piece go? No! All my fruits! It's December 2019 and Blocks Piece has made its biggest change to the game. From changing the name from Blocks Piece to Blocks Fruits and changing the names and designs of fruits and swords. The developers made a lot of changes to the game to distance itself from the anime and to avoid getting copyright strikes. This rebrand made the game more appealing to the general Roblox audience and made the Blocks Fruits we know today. We can see Blocks Fruits' first bit of growth after update 10 to update 11, making the game go from averaging around 10,000 players to almost doubling at 18 to 20,000 players. These updates focused on the new hot and cold island and the awakening of fruits. The new hot and cold island allowed players to do raids and awaken fruits with their fragments. At this time, only three fruits were able to be awakened, flame, ice, and quake. Raids and fruit awakening became a big part of the game since players were able to get more powerful and now with more than 10 fruits you can awaken. Ho ho ho, it's the jolliest season of the year. Blocks Fruits added candies to the game that you can collect from grinding NPCs. These candies let you trade in with various things such as accessories that gave you boosts and sleighs that let you quickly sail through the ocean in style or a simple XP boost that let players grind easily. The event was fun and let new players catch up easily. They also added the dragon fruit in this update, and it became the rarest fruit in the game. The fruit was the first mythical beast fruit in the game and let you become a huge dragon. The rareness and the powerfulness of the fruit made it the holy grail for high level players at the time. Whoa! What is this place? The third sea is finally here and lots of new content were added. This led to the game exploding in popularity, which went from averaging 60 to 70,000 players to 150,000 players. Lots of new exciting swords and accessories were added, together with many new islands to grind in. Plenty of fruits were added too, like the high tier venom fruit, and the most powerful fruit in the game, the kilo fruit. But what made this update popular were the additions of bosses and missions. Missions such as defeating the Rip Ender boss, where you have to complete numerous quests to finally defeat the boss that let you access the portals. 
or the mission to get the legendary Yama Sword, where you have to defeat 20 to 30 elite hunters or player hunters to pull the sword from the temple. These new bosses and hard missions made the game much more difficult and interesting for high level players. It gave those old players who had nothing left a new purpose to grind the game and collect new items. It's also around this time that the Blocks Fruits YouTuber scene exploded. Big anime Roblox YouTubers such as GamerNom started posting Blocks Fruits videos and shared the game with his large audience. There were a lot of up and coming YouTubers at this time too, such as Kit Gaming, who did many streams and videos about the new updates. We also can't forget about Bloxfoot's official channel, Gamer Robot, which garnered millions of views on their update and trailer videos. These videos appealed to a lot of people beyond Roblox, helping the game to increase its player base. Ooh, it's the spooky season, and the Bloxfoot's Halloween update is out. Unlike last year, Bloxfruits added tons of Halloween content for players to enjoy. Similarly to the Christmas event, Bloxfruits added bones that you're able to get by defeating enemies. These bones let you buy various things from the Death King. The Death King offered the random surprise that let you get fragments, accessories, random fruits, and most importantly, essences. Two types of essences came out the Fire Essence was used to obtain the new Dragon Talon fighting staff, while the Hollow Essence was used to spawn the new Soul Reaper boss that after defeat gave you an accessory and, if lucky, the mythical Hollow Size. The exciting feeling of unboxing the unknown and the difficulty of getting these new items made this another very successful update. Update 17 was the most interesting and confusing. The update had four parts, and among them, part 3 was the most influential and biggest update that Blocks Fruits have done to date. The update changed the game entirely. Fighting styles and items have been reworked and changed, together with the inventory, which a lot of people didn't like. But what made this update popular were the additions of powerful fruits and items. They added mythical weapons such as the soul guitar and the cursed dual katana. For players who used weapons as their main attacking method, this became the holy grail of all weapons. They also added the ability to awaken though, which was already OP without the awakening. But this update made the fruit extremely powerful and many started to dream of the fruit. But let's not forget about the biggest influence on this update, the leopard fruit. Although in the anime the fruit is not so strong, the developers made this the most valuable and rarest fruit in the game. The leopard fruit had heavy and quick attacks, so it was very useful for PvP, which attracted a lot of high level players. The fruit also changed the trading game, as it became the most valuable fruit worth 5 million. This is also the time when the developers leaked about Race V4 in one of their videos. This made players curious, so the community start to find clues in the game and analyze the leaked video from the developers. There were many theories by the community, but none of them worked until the 22nd of November when the developers uploaded this video. The video was mainly about helping players with raids, but in the end, the developers put out a hint to finally solve the mystery of Race V4. Players started to take notice and many players were finally able to solve it. Race V4 is finally out and players quickly obtained the abilities thanks to the clues and leaks from the developers in the previous update. Race V4 changed how players interacted with races and in my opinion, one of the coolest updates yet. But now, let's talk about the future. What's next for Bloxfruits? Well, from the recent leaks from the developers, we can see that big changes to the game are coming soon, and possibly a more consistent update schedule. But it's crazy to see how Bloxfruits became the biggest game in Roblox in such a short amount of time, and personally, I'm excited to see what's next for Bloxfruits.